We've got a surprise for you guys. Check this out. <laughs> back to the channel. Behind me is a true American muscle car, the Chevrolet Camaro. Now this isn't just any Chevy Camaro. This is a 1997 30th anniversary edition. This American muscle car offered a sleek design and impressive performance capability. The fourth generation Camaro was known for its thrilling acceleration. It makes this thing a joy to drive on both city streets and the winding road. A big draw to the Camaro's feature was the exhaust system. It had Ferrari-like tone people would simulate it to. Production of the F-Body platform was discontinued due to slowing sale, a deteriorating market of sports coupe, which makes these cars so valuable because they are so rare because they quit making. And since they quit making, it made the cars very rare, tough to get, known for its raw V6 boat anchor block, was able to put down some serious numbers at 4,000 RPM. Now, let's continue going over the features, but during a little test drive to see how the thing performs and handles, which is going to be the fun part. Now, the Camaro was equipped with multiple different engines in this year, um, and this one got the blistering 3.8 V6. It's a pretty sleek car, and man, does this thing grip. It's got the 245s on it, and it just hugs the road when you're cornering. Really nice vehicle. Just listen to this thing roar. Inside the Camaro, it's a modern and really well-appointed cabin with very comfortable seats. They're almost like Bentley seats here, but with this really user-friendly infotainment center here. Overall, the Camaro is a fantastic choice for anyone looking for a fun and sporty vehicle with that classic American style. Now this was the 97 year, so this included a revised cabin, and they really did a good job with styling this thing, and these interior really did hold up very well. There was a slightly revised suspension design, and that's a spoiler on this thing actually helps keep the downforce because the power it puts down, as well as improved handling and grip while retaining that ride comfort. You know, gives you that really, really nice suburban comfort feel. The good thing about the interior is it's very spacious. It's great if you're gonna bring passengers. The back seat has a ton of room if you're gonna bring two other people with you or needed to put storage back here. As you can see here, the front seat, it can be used for multiple things. Passengers was, would be one, holding some of your extra cargo, and ultimately, if you wanted to use it as a trash can, it would be acceptable as that as well. Oh, just listen to this thing. It just takes off perfect. Beautiful sounding car. When you step on it, there's so much power, it's actually pushing the transmission up into the actual cab of the vehicle. Just insane the amount of power this thing has. The steering wheel on the thing, the grip is very, very grippy. Where they put the hand grips on the thing, it's actually set up just like a race car. Pretty unique design. Whether you're tearing up the track or just cruising down the highway, the Camaro is definitely one to put a smile on your face. It's just insane that I get to be driving one of these Camaros right now. These are one of the most sought after vehicles being this is the 30th anniversary. Um, it's a pretty rare car, rare color, and it's very quick, very fast. Quite the rare vehicle. It's an honor for me to drive this thing because of the rarity of it. And it still has that new car smell. It smells just like a brand new car. It's amazing how well this thing has been taken care of for a 30th anniversary. And just listen to that. God, I just can't get over that. It just sounds so beautiful. The seating in this thing is just wonderful too. It's it's like kind of pushed in on the right side, so it actually makes you you hang on the wheel like this, so you can really get a nice strong grip. Uh, but then if you want to race mode, you just gotta kind of lean your left shoulder into the bolster on this side. But gosh, the the handling in this thing, it's got an excellent sound system in this. And this is all factory from General Motors. The way this sound system is set up, so you can see they they had a beautiful display for the sound system on this. It's more modern than anything, as you can see. The HVAC controls too, pretty simple design, but that's what you kind of want in a sports car like this, especially if you're gonna be on the track. If you needed to bring stuff with you, bring people with you, you know, it seats five comfortably. It would seat five comfortably. There's no doubt about that. The handles and everything, they're all the manual controls, which makes the door a lot lighter, which you want in a sports car. Sleek aerodynamics of this car, you can just feel it as you accelerate and get up to speed. It's just breaking the airwave, and it just makes the thing just that much more fun to drive. 
they were equipped with a manual transmission, which this one has, of course. In a sports car, you would want the driver feel of the five-speed. <laughs> now, it's a windy day, so it's kind of blowing us all over, but like I said, the aerodynamics of the vehicle definitely cuts through these windbreaks. You really don't notice it. You kind of do pushing side to side, but it things like a dart. You know, the aerodynamics of these were so ahead of their time. This is the factory exhaust on it. It definitely is comparable to the Ferrari sound, like a 458 Italia. Man, this thing is great. And then the brakes on it too. So the brakes have disc in the front and it's drum in the rear. And you can definitely tell that this is the supreme braking system. Just on the brakes. It's great, it handles so well. All in all, this is a really well-rounded, well put together sports car back in the day. You could see the styling on it was just a really smart design. And there's a lot of design time involved with these Camaros. After that amazing test drive. So now, I'd like to share a few thoughts. All right, so if you're really thinking about buying one of these things, don't. They're a huge piece of This has gotta be one of the worst handling cars I've ever driven in my entire life. Not comfortable at all. You can't see a thing. The blind spots are everywhere. Pretty sure I a, a small animal, who knows. So yeah, if you're thinking about buying a Camaro, definitely don't do it. And be sure to like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot, help my channel grow. And again, don't use your car as a trash can. Clean your car. All right, I'm out.